get right to it, folks. Uh, we've been, of course, uh, dealing with the aftermath of the hurricanes in Puerto Rico, uh, seeing, of course, uh, the response there, the lack of the response. You got President Donald Trump, who puts a video out on Twitter saying, I'm not getting enough credit for what I've done. Yeah, they're still having problems there, but we cannot forget our people also who are in the U.S. Virgin Islands. Joining us right now yeah. is the governor of the U.S. Virgin Islands, Kenneth Mapp. Governor Mapp, how you doing? Good morning. Good morning, Tom, Cyril, Arsenio, and Roland. How are you guys doing? Doing great. Excellent. First of all, the question is, how are you and the people in the U.S. Virgin mm -hmm. Islands doing? Yeah. We are recovering slowly from two direct hits of two Category 5 hurricanes. But with the help of so many people, uh, we're making it. And I want to thank Roland and Tom for allowing us to, to be on your show today and to be able to ask folks for their help. I know you've had a lot of water and storms there from Harvey and Houston. Uh, Tom, you're saying dry? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's not about me, sir. It's, it's about the people <laughs> who are surviving. Are they That's dry? But yeah. Yeah. Are you dry? Well, yes, I am. And uh, the Virgin Islands has been making a lot of progress. Um, we've had a really a great response, of which 104,000 of us. We've had a lot of great response um, from the federal government, our federal partners. We've had good response from our friends like Governor Cuomo in New York and 25 other state governors, uh, our own hero Tim Duncan um, from from the, uh, the you know the basketball player. He's been he's yeah. brought in two flights and has been really helping folks. And uh, the uh, president has been in this area. The vice president came Friday. Former President Clinton. I uh, was on the phone with me Friday, and uh, we're making we're making progress. We opened the university today, uh, public schools on one district tomorrow. Still got a lot of rebuilding to do. Still got a lot of homes with uh, without roofs, but uh, our resilient folks here in the Caribbean, you know, we're we're going to do what we need to do to, to to get where we need to go. This is oh, my are, fifth rodeo. Are, are you get mm. Are you getting the support you need right now? What is your greatest need? Well, right now we're really not working to get uh, our permanent home repair program going to get uh, roofs on some of the, you know, the, the homes that lost their roofs completely. It's hard to get cover on them, so we're going to launch a, a program today to get some frames on some of those homes because unlike a state, you know, folks can't drive next door and just can't run into a hotel, so we, we are trying to get folks covered as much as possible. Um, so that they can stay in place and then, you know, work through the permanent home program. So we've got a lot of staples, a lot of stuff was, was given to us, and we've been raising money at usvirecovery.org to help disaster victims. But right now it's, it's, uh, it's trying to get uh, covers over some of the homes that just got, you know, their, their tops blown away completely. So what about, some folks what about your airport? and stuff like that. What about your airport, uh, yeah. your, your, your power grid of clean water? Sure. We have clean water. Water production went on uh, fairly fast, so we've been filling the lines up. Uh, airports on St. Croix opened last Thursday, and St. Thomas opened uh, before that. Power grid about 37% on in St. Thomas, St. John. That was Hurricane Irma. About 12% on on St. Croix, Hurricane Maria. But this Friday, we're going to have a big boost of that. We're bringing in about 290 linemen and their crews from different states. They're going to arrive and start working and uh, get that power grid up. But, you know, ultimately we want most of that grid on the ground because this is the fifth time the U.S. government is planning to rebuild this distribution system. It just gets knocked down with these hurricanes. Governor, uh, but we ask, yes, go right ahead. Yeah, yeah, Governor, what about my beloved uh, HBCU there in the U.S. Virgin Islands? How's the it, is it, is it, the, yes. is it back open? It, yes, it opens today, actually, and they're, they're going to do a truncated schedule, Dr. Hall and the family there. In St. Well Thomas and St. Croix? St. Thomas and St. Croix, they lost some oh. dorms on both islands, but, um, you know, they, they're going to they're gonna be up and running. Lost some, maybe about uh, 30, 40 of their students left out of about 900 left to go back to the mainland, you know, folks from away. You know, hurricanes aren't easy, but um, they're opening today, and, um, you know, they're going to be they're gonna be troubling right along. Governor, what about, where are Governor, the people what living? About, Governor, what about my, my beloved golf course, Mahogany Bay? Oh, my God. <laughs> what? Well, Governor, uh, where are the no, people no. living that are without roofs and, and yeah. all of this? And, 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 and where are a, you in terms of power a, we, being restored? Sure, sure. We had a, a number of, of shelters, like in high schools and gyms and stuff like that, and the Red Cross. And we got a lot of, um, um, you know, support 
from from the feds and a number of families will just take folks in right. and about uh, i would say about five thousand people on mercy missions left uh the territory and went to the mainland to their families and stuff like that uh, some folks are just not going to leave home i in hurricane new i lost my roof with my mom and everything and uh, we fixed a section of the house, and we were there until the adjusters came, and then we did what we had to do. But um, we just have a few folks we really need to help, and we think we have a way we're going to be able to do that for them. Some of the roofs that have uh, uh, frames on them, uh, then the Army Corps of Engineers just covers and seal them in place um, in the short term. But, you know, we have a long way to go. We have, uh, you know, a disaster recovery is not easy. And that's, but with the help and that we get, it's, it's, it makes it work. And, Governor, I asked about the golf course because your, your, your entire country, well, I mean, well, tourism, I tour, no, no, tourism is a major deal. That's Absolutely. millions of yeah. dollars. And so you got to deal with that because, look, you're going into your high season in the winter. That's correct. That's correct. And in the short term, the economic driver here is going to be uh, reconstruction of building because, you know, with, with the insurance dollars, with the federal dollars, uh, you know, with people just having to put their lives back together, you know, generators everywhere. Uh, we have cruise ships that are going to start in early November and, and two of the ports because the other Caribbean islands, many of them got knocked down, you know, really, really bad. So we're going to be able to have some of that. But our big economic drivers are going to be uh, reconstruction. A number of hotels yeah, got to be hotels reconstruction. Hotels that sort of thing. Governor yeah. Kenneth yeah. Yeah. Look, stay strong and whatever we can do to help, we will do so. You right. And Blessings. probably no finger sticks down. Yeah. <laughs> Blessings to you. Sir. Weekdays on TV One. I will never lie to you. Oh my God. Roland Martin. He doesn't want to talk to us, he wants to ignore us. Uncensored. Hell no. no. That ain't no cut it, boo. Unapologetic. No, no, that, that is fundamentally false. You are wrong. Unfiltered. He wants an America where we all look alike. He ain't talking about black people. Unrelenting. You better go work out, because you got a fight on your hands. News One Now with Roland Martin. Weekdays at 7 a.m. on TV One.